Hello and welcome back to another Xenotic Dual Commentary. Today we have Antibody versus Halogen, so two two of the oldest players, not in terms of age, but in terms of uh, time that they've been playing. Antibody, the lead developer of Xenotic, and Halogen, the amazing person who wrote Halogen's Noob Guide. Which is a brilliant thing, and if you're getting into this game, you should definitely read it. Today, we are over on Fuse. Very good map that I haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, in demos that have been sent over. We tend to get some of the newer maps, but this is an absolute staple of Xenotic and a very good map. These guys are going to start off. They both play very cautiously. Um and trying to feel their opponent out, not wanting to rush in. I think this is sort of the third or fourth game that they've played in a series here. So we could be seeing a little bit extra... Uh, a little bit extra knowledge... coming out. But Antibody... gonna be... just playing very round the corners, very nicely round the corners there, and that's going to net a first blood for Antibody. Halogen coming round the corner, trying to play aggressive, but Antibody backing off, making nice plays, keeping his distance, you can see still doing it, very low health though. Needs to be a little bit careful about that, but should be alright. Going to find a couple of 25s. Going to find a bit of damage onto Halogen. Halogen might be able to take him out here. And does with the shotgun. Lands a good set of pellets. And ties up these scores one to one. Antibody's going to be running away now. Halogen seems to have control of the map. Where Antibody actually is. Uh, Playing a lot more defensively and unable to grab control of the map. So despite getting the first blood, Halogen was obviously able to try and take all of that into the armours. And get as much as he could. A much slower game. I've just cast a game with BW and Tommy. One of the fastest games I've seen in a very long while. And these guys playing a much slower, much more controlling game of Xenotic. Instead of controlling the map by going super speed and being everywhere at once, they're definitely more relaxed. This map does bring it about you though, so it does help a little bit for them. This map, of course, not having a 100 armor, only having two 50s, which can be a bit confusing when you first play it. And it does require a bit more thinking just to make sure that you know what you're doing. But at the end of it, it is a very good map. Antibody really pushing the score limit now. He's managed to get back into the lead. And I think while he didn't have uh, the control of the map, he was able to stay out of trouble quite a lot. Whereas Halogen seems to be pushing a little bit further in. And... Just trying to make a few plays that potentially aren't quite working out for him. Antibody though is going to go down in a little scuffle just a second ago. Going to be pushing right on top of Halogen. Doesn't seem to be able to land any shots. Manages to go through that whole fight not landing anything. That could put Antibody a little bit on edge. Which isn't going to be good at all. Very nice shots. Coming from Antibody. He's got the lead though. He's going to want to control this lead. But there's still obviously more than half the time left. So there's no way to just sit back and try and hide at the minute. Synotic I think does a very good job in terms of game design. And this map especially. Of not letting a player get a little bit of control and then just run away for 10 minutes. The only times you can do that are if you are massively outmatching your opponent. 
So, Antibody now playing a little bit more aggressive. He's trying to find the, the move onto Halogen. Trying to find where he's got to be. And he doesn't seem to be able to get any kills. But he's keeping Halogen off his back. So, he's sort of playing an aggressive game. But not... Quite so much that he's actually racking up any kills until Halogen pushes into him and then he's able to find another one. He might be able to push this for a frag but he does seem to have a bit too low health that he does not want to go in with. And Halogen just going to be up the top here, raining down shots from above. But Antibody from below finds a few shots. And Halogen's finding he can't hit Antibody now. So we had it a few minutes ago with Antibody just unable to connect with anything. And now Halogen can't connect with anything. Antibody connects with that one though and finds the second to make the kill. So he's definitely starting to hit stuff again. 8 to 4 the score line. We've got 3.5 minutes left in the game. And if Halogen doesn't find a bit of a push on right now, he's definitely got control of the map. So we're in a good position there, but we're not quite sure what stack he's got. This is a POV demo. I can't switch over and see Halogen stack. But Antibody's got to be scared of him getting. Got to be a little bit wary of him getting all these armors and all these health pickups. The current damage. Antibody has done a lot more damage than Halogen. So it does stand to reason that Antibody's picked up more armor and more health, but I think that's mostly just the small bubbles actually. Antibody's really been getting away with uh, getting away at the end of fights with only a few health, but now it looks like Halogen's managing to finish him off. Just get that extra little bit of damage down on him. And these two are Playing incredibly matched. Again we see a game that swings one way at the start. And then the other player is able to bring it back at the end. For a very close game in the last few minutes. Antibody's trying to run away it seems like. He doesn't want to go into a fight with less health. I think by the looks of it Antibody seems to be the weaker aimer. Or at the very least doesn't believe in his aim quite so much. Can't entirely tell. If Antibody is uh, is a worse aimer than Halogen. Or if he just doesn't want to push in. Doesn't believe in his aim. It can quite often be that just a player that doesn't believe in their aim. Will not push in quite so hard. Which means that it looks like they're a worse aimer. While you're only watching one side of the, one side of the fight. I haven't watched enough of these two playing to really know which one is true there. But currently we are even scores. Antibody still running away. Halogen really pushing quite hard. But it looks like Antibody's just going to try and wait it out. Just going to try and really play carefully. Both players looking for each other coming around that corner very slowly. Both players missing their shots. Halogen's going to find the mega health. Antibody's not going to be able to find too much damage, but not going to take any either. So potentially Antibody's managed to do a decent amount. I think he did about 100 damage out of that little scuffle over the mega. And Halogen would have also lost some armor, so... Antibody probably got the better stack right now, but Halogen absolutely tanking it. Antibody going to find the Mega, go down to 28 health. Not sure what Halogen's on at the minute. I think Halogen's probably on about 100 and maybe a little few scraps of armour. 
But we haven't seen antibody take too many armors recently, so it could be that Ant uh, Halogen actually has a large amount of armors. Halogen, in the last couple of seconds, though, going to find antibody, take the fight, and take, in the last two seconds, the entire game. That was very close and a very interesting game to watch. Both players very closely matched and playing a completely different style to the way that we usually see the games go. But in the end, Halogen actually manages to win the game with, if you look, less damage dealt. So, thank you for watching this. Send over some demos to me. I'm MX, uh, MX Craven on the IRC. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next demo.